In the previous lesson, we started talking about elements, compounds, molecules, atoms. It is very important that you understand that lesson before trying this one, okay? So in this lesson, we're going to talk about what is a mixture and what is a pure substance, okay? So the golden thing that you need to remember is the following. If a container is filled with only one type of element or filled with only one type of compound, then it is a pure substance, okay? If not, then it's a mixture. Now, let me explain with some examples. So I'm gonna go make uh, three different containers. Container one, container two, container three. And we are gonna go do some examples to try to see which containers are gonna be pure substances and which containers are going to be mixtures. So let's start with container one. Now in container one, we've got some nitrogen atoms over here, and then we've got some hydrogen atoms. Okay, so we don't only have one kind of element in this container. But it says here, if a container is filled with only one type of element, then it is a pure substance. So this contains more than one uh, type of element. So filled with, and, and we're not talking about compounds for this one because none of these are compounds. What is a compound? A compound is when you have two or more. Remember what a compound is? A compound was when we have two or more different atoms bonded together. None of these are bonded together. You see, they're not touching each other, for example. So there's no compounds in this molecule. That's why I'm not looking at this part of the definition, okay? So we're only looking at the individual elements at the moment. And here we have um, more than one element, more than one element. So this container is not a uh, pure substance, it is a mixture. So this is a mixture. Moving on to container number two. Now this, in, this part over here is a compound. Why? Because a compound is when you have two or more different atoms. So like here we've got H, hydrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. So as long as we have two or more different atoms, bonded together. We can see that they are bonded together. They're touching. So this is a compound. This is also a compound. The compounds are the same. So it says that if a container is filled with only one type of element, okay, we're not going to look at that part because we're not, because, but it, then we move on to the next part. Or if it is filled with only one type of compound, then it is a pure substance. So this is a pure substance because it only has one type of compound. In container number three, let's see what we have. So this, if you know, if you watch the previous lesson, this would be called an element. Yep, that is an element of hydrogen. This is also an element of hydrogen. It's not a compound because a compound is two or more different atoms, okay? So this would just be a molecule or you could call it an element. We can just say an element of hydrogen. Here, we have an element of carbon, element of carbon. So is this container a mixture or a pure substance? Well, let's go to the definition. So we're not busy with compounds in this example. So here we're just going to look at the first part of the definition. If a container is filled with only one type of element, it is a pure substance. But this is not one type of element. Here we've got an element of hydrogen and here we've got an element of carbon. So this is not a pure substance and so this one is going to be a mixture. Let's do a few more examples. All right, so let's start with container number one. So in container number one, what we can see is we've got a atom of carbon, or you can say an element, carbon, uh, another carbon, and another carbon, and then we have um, a nitrogen. Okay, so we've got to try to think if this is a mixture or if it is a pure substance. Now remember what we learned on the previous slide, that a pure substance is a container that is filled with only one type of element, Okay, so this is definitely not only one type of element, or filled with only one type of compound. Okay, but this is not a compound either. So this is definitely not going to be a pure substance. This is gonna be a mixture. 
because here in this container, once again, we have more than one type of element, okay? And it says that for it to be a pure substance, it must only be one type of element. Okay, now in container number two, let's see what we have. So here we've just got nitrogen, okay? So that's definitely, you can think of that as a molecule because it's got more than one um, atom. So this is a molecule and it's only nitrogen. So this is the element nitrogen. This is also the element nitrogen. So is this and so is this. So the definition says that a, a pure substance is a container that is filled with only one type of element. Here we only have nitrogen. So this is a pure substance. This is a pure substance. Let's write that a little bit better. Pure substance. In container number three, let's see what we have. Okay, so here we have a compound because remember a compound is when you have more, so two or more um, different elements bonded together. So that's a compound. There's a compound. This is a compound. But this is not a compound because here we have um, this. You could call this a molecule, uh, but it's not a compound because a compound has two or more different type of elements, but these are the same. So this is not a compound. So they tell us that the definition of a pure substance is a container filled with only one type of element or only one type of compound. This is neither of those. Here we've got an element. Here we've got um, a compound, but... They're not all the same. They're not all compounds. Well, they're not all the same co compound. It says only one type of compound. So if this was a, if this was also the same, like this, and you didn't have this one, then you could say that this is a pure substance, okay? But that's not what we had, so this would be called a mixture. Okay, so here we're gonna look at container four now, and let's see what we have. So here we have a element, that is the nitrogen element. Okay, let's make a little note there. Nitrogen element. Here we have a carbon element. So straight away, this can't be a pure substance because it says that a pure substance is a container filled with only one type of element. But here we have a carbon element. So can you sort of start to understand that all you need to really do for all of these questions is just look in the container. If it has the same things, then it's a pure substance. So here we have carbon, 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 but then we have nitrogen, so that's a mixture. Here we have um, nitrogen, 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 so that's a pure substance. Uh, here we had um, this one, this one, but then we had something different, so that's a mixture. And then here we had um, all of these were the same, but then this one's different, so that is definitely a mixture.